Wait. I have an idea. I'll go in alone. Traveler, please stay here and guard the entrance. This cavern has two points of entry, and there are shortcuts inside. Judging from the state of the footprints, he hasn't been in there long. I should be able to reach the other side before he does. Cut him off at both ends. Good idea! Whoever apprehends the thief first has to notify the other party. This way we're fully covered. Still, safety comes first. We do not yet know the identity of our thief. Please take care. We'll be fine. <sighs> okay. See you shortly. <laughs> of course. I wonder if Albedo found the thief. This is taking forever. Really? Huh. Maybe it just feels like a long time because Paimon hates waiting. Waiting is so boring! Why don't we find something to do to pass the time? You know, something like... Um... Something like... Oh! Look at all that star silver over there! Why don't we gather it up for Albedo? It's right next to the cavern, so we won't be going far. If anything happens inside, we can be right back here in no time! Yay! Let's get started! Lackluster. Is that because of the impurities like Albedo was talking about? Unable to catch him. He was faster than I'd imagined. Uh, oh! So after all that, we still don't even know who the thief was? Uh, what a waste! Still, we won't be going back completely empty handed. We did some mining! Uh, mining? Yeah, for Star Silver. Look, we got quite a lot! It's just like you said some are really bright and shiny. And others just look like regular lumps of rock with a little shiny bit here or there. Star silver. Uh, <laughs> I was merely saying what was on the front of my mind. I hadn't thought you would genuinely go and gather some. Well, you said they can be turned into paint, so we got pretty curious. Also, if it weren't for that thief, we'd be making paint by now anyway, right? Or even painting by this point. Anyway, it's all the thief's fault for wasting our time. Yes, it's all the thief's fault. The notes mean a lot to me. I'm not quite ready to give up the search yet. Let's keep an eye out for clues as we go. Oh, just one thing. Do you want us to bring all this ore back, or did you want to sort through and get rid of the useless bits first? There's no point in bringing the bad ones back if it'll ruin the quality of the paint. Mm. Some of them do look pretty dull to Paimon, so it doesn't seem like those will be of any use at all. <sighs> Indeed. The sorting process is necessary. Humans are such practical creatures. They only want those things that are good. Once they have learned to distinguish between good and bad, they will never stop comparing things in their minds. Useless things should be disposed of at the outset. Right! Saves a lot of time that way. Efficiency first. So let's start by... Help! Help me! Wait! Did you guys hear that? Was that a cry for help? It's likely an adventure in danger! Okay!
voice was definitely coming from around here. Is anybody there? Help me! No way! Is that? Hmm? Is that the Traveler and Paimon? It's me, Bennett! Whoa! It's really him! Let's get him out! So sorry to trouble you guys again. The key should be someplace nearby. Please, help me find it! I'm sorry to trouble you. This is all my fault. No, I'm fine. Thank you for asking. Right now, I just need to get out of here. Uh, I'm so cold. Achoo! Wow, so much clutter. Oh, we're not going to find the key here, surely. Uh-oh, we got company. been rocks mixed in with the snow on the tree. It wouldn't have made me all dizzy when it fell down onto my head. And then I would have never walked into the Fatui's trap. Bennett? In a cage? Never saw that coming. <laughs> I won't bore you with the rest of the details. Just me being unlucky again. Yep! Taking them out was child's play. No need to thank us. You did? <laughs> That's so nice of you guys. I know they were probably just following orders. But still, thanks for helping me out. So what are you doing on Dragonspine? Didn't Razor want to come with you? Did you hear about the Adventurers Guild thing? They're hosting a winter camp here. As one of their veteran adventurers, I'm here to help out the rookies. Razor is not an adventurer. And as the leader of Benny's adventure team, as well as the only actual member, I had to come on my own. But now I've been stuck here for so long, I probably missed it. Oh, I hope Cyrus doesn't get mad at me. Oh! Wait, so that guy Gerald who got left in the lurch, he was supposed to be paired up with you? If so, sorry Bennett, but he really did miss it. He got paired up with a different instructor instead. What? Weren't they short on instructors? Where'd they suddenly get extras from? A few people from the Knights of Favonius stepped up in order to help support the event. So they ended up with more instructors than students. Knights of Favonius... <sighs> yeah, they're definitely more reliable than me. I'm just a walking accident waiting to happen. Right, right! Anyway, that was just the situation when we last saw them. It might have changed by now. Who knows? Maybe a whole load more rookies will have turned up to join in. Besides, after all the trouble you've gone to show up as an instructor, Paimon sure Cyrus will put you to work. Really? For sure. Hey, wait a second. Where'd Albedo go? Albedo? You mean the alchemist from the Knights of Avonius? He's one of the instructors too? No, he just happened to be on Dragonspine. We were just with him, but then we heard you calling for help. He must have left us at some point after that. Hmm, could he have gone back to keep looking for clues? Let's go back to the cavern and see if he's there.
sign of Albedo. This is weird. Where has he run off to? This is great. Dragon Spine's so fun today. There's so many people around. It's never usually like this. This was where we heard Bennett's cry for help, right? We heard his voice and went straight over to rescue him. Then we noticed Albedo was gone. Huh. So he just didn't feel like helping us save Bennett? Wait, what? What are you talking about? Oh, Alberto! Where the heck have you been? We've been looking for you! I should be the one to ask you that. Didn't I tell you to stay at the cavern entrance? Huh? I'm not really following who was waiting for who and who was looking for who, but... First things first. I apologize, Albedo. I don't fully understand what's going on, but... It seems like it's mostly my fault. No, no. Bennett, this is not because of you. You needn't blame yourself. Traveler, clear this up for me. What was the reason that you left the cavern entrance? Did you... <sighs> there you are. Stay right there. You have a lot of explaining to do. What? Me? Huh? You, huh? Aren't you supposed to be helping the new guy? <laughs> Yes, that's what I would be doing, if I hadn't been interrupted by a certain someone's malicious scheming. Albedo, I saw you taking Jewel towards the wasteland at the edge of Dragonspine. That place is crawling with monsters. What the devil do you think you were doing? Uh, uh... Whoa, 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 wait a second! What's going on? Actually, wrong question. How much stuff is going on? When I came to stop you from leading Joel any further, your first reaction was to throw the child down and attack me. When I fought back, you quickly fled. Care to explain? Uh... I see. Interesting. Interesting? Yula, it sounds like you met an imposter. Someone who was impersonating me. Impersonating you? To what end? It is difficult to draw a definitive conclusion for now. But these strange incidents do seem to be connected. Your alchemy notes were stolen. Can the Traveler and Paimon testify that the three of you were together up until you entered the cavern? Yes, we can confirm that. As things stand, I don't have any reason to harm the child. Whoever you met is likely to be both the thief who stole my notes, and also an imposter. Of course, it's entirely natural for you to be skeptical of my story. I was separated from the Traveler and Paimon for a significant duration while we were pursuing the thief. My word alone cannot serve as a definitive account of my actions and whereabouts during that period. But the Traveler and Paimon can at least testify that I was not the individual who tore up the campsite or stole my notes. Albedo, do you have any enemies? Could it be one of your enemies impersonating you to get revenge on you or something? I don't have any enemies. And I'm not aware of having given anyone cause to exact vengeance upon me. There is insufficient evidence to assert what happened with any certainty at this point. Given how serious the situation is, I intend to investigate it myself. Even if you decide not to pursue it any further. You... I won't discourage your ongoing suspicion of me if you can't believe my story. So, naturally, I would hope you can afford me some credibility on account of our solidarity as fellow members of the Knights of Avonius. Traveler, Paimon, Bennett, if you are willing, I welcome you to monitor my activities beyond this point so that you can act as my witnesses. If I am what this imposter wants, he will come looking for me again eventually. Things can only become clearer from that point on. <sighs> I'll give you the benefit of the doubt, as preposterous as your claims sound. And I will choose to believe that an imposter went after Joel, and not you. I will keep Joel safe. If you need any support with the investigation, contact myself and Amber. You have my gratitude. <laughs>